Oh, hello. Hello, world. What is up? Welcome to Build. I'm your host, Matt Forte. Oh, man, we're here live at the Build Studio in New York City. Uh, the gang is back, my friends, in Jumanji, the next level. Uh, in the new film, our favorite unlikely force and brave parts, even more unknown and even more unexplored than last time. I got a chance to see it. Uh, it is fantastic. Fantastic. Our next guest stars not only in Jumanji, but you can also catch her starring uh, in the films Feast of the Seven Fishes, uh, Blumhouse's Nocturne, uh, Justin Baldoni's Clouds. She's got a ton of stuff going on right now. Frankly, I'm surprised she's got time to even be here. Folks, the great Madison Eisman's in the building. How about that? You excited for Madison? I am. They are. I have to assume you are too. Uh, we're going to bring her around in just a second, but first, I believe we've got a trailer for Jumanji The Next Level. So let's go ahead and run that clip. Jungle. This is a whole new thing. Nobody told us we had to do a whole new thing. Okay, something went wrong. Uh, uh, come on. I'm coming. Grandpa Eddie? Morning. Did you guys see Spencer? Who's that? I think he went back in. We gotta go get him. You know something? Thanks. We haven't even picked our guys yet. Are we in Florida? Oh my god. Wait. We're in the wrong body! My joints feel like butter. Oh, no. I feel loose myself. This can't be happening! I came back and things actually got worse. Look at this. One, two, three. We have some issues here. The game is busted! Listen up now. This is a dangerous place. You've got to have eyes in the back of your head. What in the Sam Hill? just happened to him. What the hell is this? Would you look at me? I haven't looked like this since. Never. You look like this never. I think my eyes are a different color. All of you is a different color. Check this out. Strengths and weaknesses. Linguistics. Oh, goodness. Nunchucks. That's new. Damn, that's a good list. Weaknesses. Heat, sun, and sand. How is this guy a character in an adventure game? Man, it is hot out here! We have to find Spencer and Bethany. This next adventure is even more challenging. This time, not all of you will leave the game alive. Bethany thought you might need some help. Where is Bethany? She's right here. She says, oh my god, like I'm a total horse. Yep, that's Bethany. Hey! A terrible drive. What are you talking about? I just passed my driver's test last month again. What happened? Yes, I'm back. I missed you so much. Oh my God, you guys, hi. Bethany? You guys, we're back in Jumanji. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Madison Eisman. Come on. Uh, this movie is so ridiculously good. It's so funny. Uh, it is everything we love from the first one and more. Congratulations. Thank you. So exciting. Uh, and congratulations on becoming a horse. Thank you. Yeah. How it, wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really, really proud of that. It's a big career career moment for me. <laughs> well, I think everybody aspires to one day be a horse. And yeah. here you are very early in the career yeah. hitting that mile post. Now what? Now what do you do? I think I've reached my limit. Um, I think that I think I retire um, as a horse. Son. And little known fact, you you are the horse. They, the motion capture suit. You played the horse. Is that right? No, that's not true. <laughs> that that would be fun. <laughs> no. Be? Yeah. No. They casted a real horse. Unfortunately, real horse. it was not me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the way it should be. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Because that horse needs work too. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Gone to the days of horse Mr. Horse got paid a lot of money too. <laughs> I don't know how much the horse got. paid. I don't know what that horse money looks like these no, days. No, I have no idea. But I'm sure it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be. Um, I mean, I, the horse made the poster. Right? Yeah. Which, in a way, so have you. Yes. I there know. I literally, I think I made an Instagram caption saying, like, Mom, I made the poster. It was one of those things where I saw the <laughs> caption before I saw the photo, and I was like going through, I was like, oh, she, that's so cool. She had a character poster, and I clicked that. I almost died. <laughs> well, that they, was so funny. Sony and, like, the Jumanji account, they actually, they tag me as the horse in all the promotions. I feel really honored. I'm that's like, thank amazing. you. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Did you meet the real horse? 
Um, no. No. I've yeah. met the whole cast. It's always never the way. Got to meet the horse. Yeah. So yeah, I met the whole cast. I was really excited. Well, first again, congratulations, you guys. You knocked it out of the park. Thank you. Um, I saw very recently within this week, you guys had like the big premiere. Everybody was there. Uh, There's fake snow. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, there was a lot of fake snow. Uh, a lot of fake snow. A lot of good times. I assume, and keep me honest here, because you said you met everybody, but the, just the nature of the film. You don't see the whole cast all the time, right? No, no, because we are in, you know, we are in the real world, yeah, exactly. technically, in the game. And, and when we enter the game, we enter into the world of Jumanji. Jumanji. Exactly. Yes. Round so two. that must have been so much fun, though. Like, you go to the premiere, you see everybody there. Like, yeah. there's the whole family, as it were. Yeah. Well, and it's so fun, too, because, you know, we, it, well, it's interesting because the first time we filmed, um, the kids we filmed last after the rest of the cast did all of their stuff. Yeah, so this time we were first, so we had no idea what they were doing, pretty much. You know, because the scripts change around so much from the initial, like, read-through. Yeah. Was that your first time, like, seeing it in full at the yeah. premiere? Oh, no way. That was the first time I saw it. Did you like it? Oh, I loved it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> it was hilarious. Mm -hmm. um, I was always curious about that, too, like, because um, I know you guys aren't really in scenes together, but... You know, Jack Black is playing, uh, in the first one especially, obviously, a, a version of the same character. You're both playing Bethany. Did you guys ever communicate or talk at all about Bethany's mannerisms or, like, what that would look like so that way we would believe that, you know, Bethany was was him? Yeah, um, I mean, originally, you know, when, when the first one came around, we did a lot of one-on-one -on -one work together, um, which was really cool because I wasn't sure how much time we were going to be able to spend yeah. with our avatars. Um, and I, I think, I mean, he completely nails Bethany like he is so good at Bethany um but he was very keen on like getting her perfect um and we kind of you know bounced around some ideas and just how to be a girl talked a lot about mean girls and well the thing that's been amazing about both of these films now is that these performances they never feel like just uh you know borderline offensive impressions they are true performances characters like you I don't know how they do it I don't know what it is about their performance but you do believe the the conceit that these are the children inside of these Absolutely. avatars. It's I, amazing. Even in our, you know, the new movie that's coming, you know, because we all switch avatars. So everyone's kind of playing someone else. And so I think it really goes to show how talented these people are because yeah. same avatars, same movie franchise, but playing different people. The different Rock is people, playing yeah. Danny DeVito. Mm -hmm. Kevin Hart's playing Danny Glover, yeah. you know. Um, yeah, lots of Dannys. All the famous Dannys are here. All the famous Dannys. And that, and you're right. Everybody is doing something a little different this time around, which makes it already it's already fun, but it just elevates it and it heightens it yeah. and takes it to that the next, the next level. level. Now look at that. Look what we just did. Oh my God, brilliant. Um, the Rock, Dwayne, does a, a fantastic Danny DeVito. He does. Aquafina <laughs> shows up. She is, she is amazing. The most incredible human and actor. She is so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Did um did you guys as these as all the uh, avatars are walking around doing their versions of your character and all that stuff? Mm -hmm. do, do you guys have your own off camera versions of Danny DeVito or any of the other characters no, that you were doing? No, we should. No, oh, but we no. don't. We don't. I don't know. Well, it's you know we our lives are kept so separate sometimes. You know, other than like the official like first week of production where we you know everyone's getting all the details out of the way is in the table read and. Um, well, you got to do a little bit with Danny. Um, yeah. So th this was a, yeah. one of those instances because you do uh, being a part of this uh, this massive franchise and these huge movies, you're around all these huge stars. Mm -hmm. uh, and in this instance, you get to work a little bit with you know with the Dannys. Yes. And when you're in a scenario like that and you're working with somebody who has all that experience and is so talented, do you, do you ask advice? Do you ask for questions? Do you just kind of learn from watching. Yeah. Like, how do you work with somebody like that? I was that? honestly scared to ask anything. He, really? Like, I was so intimidated by Danny DeVito. Um, really? Well, he's just a legend. You know, he's yeah. been around you know forever, and um, he's. It's a dream to be able to work, you know, in a scene with him. Um, you know, I just couldn't stop watching and, you know, taking everything in. Yeah, um, yeah and the nicest, sweetest man. Yeah, and we had, I think he had a lot of fun with us, too. I say that. I think he did, yeah. Um, He's yeah. awesome. We're saying that he did. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, it was awful. He's a really nice guy, too. Yeah. Even if it was a rough time, he'd polish it up a little bit. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he had a lot of fun. Yeah. This looks like a movie you have fun making. It's, like, it's so no much fun. Yeah. I mean, every even all the kids, like, everyone's just so great and easy to work with. And Jake is phenomenal, you know. I just And I think he, you know, helps make these movies so... Not only funny, but just so personal too. Especially in the new one, you know, it really kind of hits home in some ways. Which well, I love. I've always loved the. Always, oh, there's two of them, but like the stories that we've had. The thing I've loved about it is the the friendship that we see within mm -hmm. these four kids, and especially by the end of this one, just kind of where they all arrive and everything, without spoiling anything like that. And I'm just curious, like, has like, do you guys keep touch? Has that transition transitioned or translated offset? Do you guys still keep touch? Do you talk a lot? Yeah. Um, you know, how did you guys build up that that friendship and that chemistry? Yeah, absolutely. I mean. We're all still really good friends. It's kind of weird because we're all in different places. Alex is in 
New York, Morgan's in Pennsylvania, I think. Um, and Sir Darius and I were back in LA, but we all we all keep up. It's kind of, it was kind of weird. It was like summer camp. We all like didn't see each other, and then a year later, we we're like, "Hey, we're back again!" Like, yeah. Where Where were you when you found out you were getting a sequel? How'd they tell you? Yeah, uh, I. You know, it was a rumor for so long, yeah. so I don't even remember when it was official because. For like months, it was like, is it happening? Is it not? Is it happening? Is it not? It, like I heard they had a script yeah. and they didn't. And then finally, we got the email of like, yeah, like it's happening. Okay, yeah. And then they sent us a script, and then 24 hours later, they're like, okay, table read, go. And we were like, oh my gosh. What do you think when you found out you were gonna be a horse? I was so confused. <laughs> I was like, Jake. Um, I mean, I was game. I was like, I like it. It's, it's a fun. It's a fun idea. I yeah. It was. I was very confused. 24 hours ago, are you doing horse research just in case? Yeah, I was just like, <laughs> what am I getting myself into? Like to know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was one of those things, man. That first movie, when it came out, I think leading up to it, there was a lot of pressure, right? You're following up on this this uh, beloved yeah. film from the 90s with Robin Williams, all this sort of stuff. Movie comes out, crushes it, becomes like the biggest film for Sony ever. It's always like, all right, there's going to be a sequel. But coming into this one, was there almost more pressure now? Because you had to live up to the first one and Absolutely. all the love? Yeah. It was, it's scary. I've never really been a part of a sequel ever, not to mention something that's on this level of, I mean, I don't think anyone expected it to do as good as it did. It, it blew my mind. Um, and yeah, I mean, because you really want it to be just as good, if not better. You know, I think that's always the goal is to beat out what you did before. Um, and I think, I think it is, you know, like I think there's things about this movie that I really, really love that I think are different, but things that are very similar as well. Um, and, of course, we got, like, you know, the bigger cast, and there's so many good things happening with it. You know, you mentioned this is um, you know, your first sequel. Is this, like, your first time to sort of return to a character and pick up where you left off? Because, you know, Bethany's a different mm -hmm. person when we start this than she was when you started the first yeah, movie. So, like, yeah. what was that like to kind of, you know, jump back into that world and just kind of pick up her life? I mean, it was interesting, you know? Like, I... I and because she did have such a big arc in the first film, um, yeah. it was important to show that, but also keep... Bethany alive because um, as you see from the trailer too she does come back as Jack so Jack you know we still wanted to keep Bethany Bethany um, but she kind of just was the same but with a new perspective and love for adventure and yeah uh, well, again, I got to see the other night. I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, but you're you're fantastic. Everybody's fantastic in it. Thank it's so you. good. Yeah. Uh, I'm so excited for everyone else to see it. It's dropping this weekend, and, and I just want to make sure we have time because, like I said, you got a trillion things that you've been working on. <laughs> There's a lot. Uh, and I'm curious if they all kind of overlapped or what the schedule looked like because you had this, you have clouds, you have nocturne. There's uh, feast of seven fishes. Let's start. With um with clouds yes uh, because you had a sweet post of how excited you are for everyone to see this film yeah. uh, and I'm just curious what it was that was so special about it and why you're so excited for everyone to see it um so clouds yeah. is uh, about the life of Zach Sobiak who passed away in 2013 from osteosarcoma um and he wrote songs with his best friend and the day of his funeral one of his songs hit number one on iTunes which was called clouds um I mean it's just it is one of the most special projects I think I've ever worked on in my life. I mean, it's about someone real, and we, we're portraying real people. Um, and we actually got really close with the family as well and the people we're playing. So they were on set all of the time. Um, they had a lot to do with the casting. You know, it, their handprint is very much on the film. And actually, Justin Baldoni, who um, directed the whole thing, yeah. he directed the documentary, the My Last Days documentary that Zach was a part of. So if anyone's going to direct this movie, it has to be Justin. Yeah. How was he as a director? He was um, he was on a show a little while ago, and I got a chance to talk to him, and he is just, what an energy. He just is, like the sweetest, most genuine dude. He's a fantastic human being. Yeah. And an incredible director, too. I mean, it. he's so good at capturing, and he's the first actor director I've ever worked with. Mm -hmm. um, and he's so good at just capturing, like, just the essence and the soul to everything you're saying and... And just, I, I don't, I don't, he was just able to pull things out of us that I've never been able to do before. You think that's because, since he's also an actor, like, he kind of knows the shorthand or kind of, like, knows, like, a language that maybe, like, a non-actor director isn't privy to or just yeah. like he has, like, an experience that's I unique? think so. Yeah. I definitely think it has a little bit to do with that. Um, also, just who he is as, is a, as a person. Um, he just has such a pure, genuine heart and soul and, and yeah, he's just a great human being. 
He really is. Mm-hmm. I, we uh, we embraced at the end of the talk. He gave me a hug. Did he? Like at the end of the talk, he's like, we hugged, and I remember one felt very safe, and two, <laughs> man, smells amazing. He smells he so good. Right? He is. Yeah. He's no. No. I'm glad he, that's consistent. He always smells good. Looks nice. Yeah, and his wife together. is beautiful. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of hers too. You so know, yeah, know. his whole family. I'm like, how do you get that? What did you What did you do right in life to get all of that? Sometimes God gives with both hands, yeah. man. Sometimes it happens. Yeah. Uh, but he's he's a great dude, and that's well, that sounds like an amazing project. Mm-hmm. One of the things that uh, you mentioned there, you know, you're getting close with the real life counterparts and the people that mm-hmm. you're portraying. That's a unique uh, element to that because typically when you're playing a, a real person or somebody, that you don't always have access to that person no, or, you don't. Uh, or have the opportunity to do that research. Does that increase, I don't want to say pressure because we talked about that, but maybe like the sense of responsibility to kind of get this right and, and tell this story right? Absolutely. I mean, and also too, I mean, like the real Amy, who I'm playing Amy, Zach's girlfriend, um, she's only three or four years older than me. So it's not like I'm playing someone who, you know, was alive in the 40s or, you know. Um, yeah, there's definitely a different sense. Not And like you said, I don't know if I'd call it pressure, but you feel a lot closer with it, but it was also much easier to connect to, to like knowing them. And if there was ever a question from the script, you know, she's the first person I call and say, hey, like, what do you think about this? Or, you know, how do you feel about this? What would make this more? I don't, there's so many little things that, and that they were able to help with as well. Um, What an amazing resource to have. It was, I don't know if I'll ever have an experience like that ever again. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah, it's really, I'm excited for people to see it. I think it's going to be really, really special. For sure. Do we know, uh, forgive me, I didn't write down, when when can people see Clouds? Cause I think I, mean, I, saw, I don't even think they know. I don't think they know. Yeah, I, know I, saw, like, I know they're aiming for next year. Okay, something yeah. Next year, so we got to keep on mm-hmm. that. Yes. Uh, something people can see right now, I believe, Feast of Seven Fishes. Yeah. Which uh, looks like it was a lot of fun to make. I don't. You're not Italian, right? I'm so you, no, I'm not. So you're Italian. not familiar with this insane tradition that no. we have inexplicably. Yeah. I mean, there's do a reason. Pre- do you do the Feast of Seven Fishes? I am in a family that used to do it. Since okay. I've been born, they don't do it anymore. <laughs> All they ever talk about is, thank God, we don't do the Seven Fishes anymore. Why is it? I, is it that a, big of an ordeal? It's a big, it's a big deal. Yeah. It's first getting the Seven Fishes, making, the, and then <laughs> and they were saying, you make it. And then, like, half the fishes people don't even want to eat. Yeah, they I only want, seafood. like, three of the fish. Everybody wants, like, the calamad, and that's it. It's yeah. like, so the seven fishes, it's a big thing. Uh, talk to me about uh, making that feed. What, what was that yeah, like? That How, was what? a lot of fun. Like, um, yeah. I mean, it was just a big party the whole time we filmed in West Virginia. We oh. actually made the food was, like, yeah. part of the film. Yeah, so really, you know, a lot of the footage was just kind of like winging it in a way which I think that's what you get when you watch it though it's what it feels like feels like you're just at a dinner party with your family um yeah that one was a really special one so they actually you said they actually made the food the food was like edible like real food it was there which is what sounds great but when you have to do multiple takes I've heard horror stories of like oh yeah I'd spit buckets and oh yeah no it's not pretty it's never cute when you're eating on set Uh, do you like fish to begin with no I hate seafood oh my gosh so this was your nightmare wasn't it well I actually the only time I had to actually eat it yeah they made me chicken Nice. It was very nice of them. Yeah, I cheated. That's how they, they yeah. did the opposite of that to my brother growing up to get him to eat fish. They told him it was chicken. He's a very really? picky eater. Yeah, yeah, he would just eat it. And Back in the day, them. you lied to your kids. We needed them to eat something yeah. healthy. Now, <laughs> now no one cares. <laughs> we don't do that anymore. No, no. Now we make it fun. But uh, I think yeah, I think it was fish sticks, and they were like, oh, it's chicken. Yeah, I don't know. Just fried. Just, just reminded Anything me of that. Fried <laughs> tastes the same, you know. You, well, yeah, just you fry put something. Put it in oil at yeah. a million degrees and cover it in breadcrumbs. It's all pretty tasty. Uh, all right, so that's two. All right, we've got mm-hmm. a million more. Let's keep going. You've got a Blumhouse uh, Nocturne project, yes, so I imagine yeah. that's a lighthearted romp. That's Ooh, uh, <laughs> that one's fun. I got to work with Sydney Sweeney, who's a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's you know it's about these two um, pianists in an art school and kind of how one starts to overtake the other. Um, and it's just dark and twisted and very Blumhouse. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's a really cool script. I was really into it, and I love stories about you know just like the arts in general, sure. especially with young people because you don't see it too much. Um, Have you done anything uh, Blumhouseian before, like that scary and dark? And I, I mean, Annabelle. Done, yeah, I know there's Annabelle, mm-hmm. um, but I'm thinking like I don't know. There's like a very that, like, specific, psychological. Exactly. Yeah. No, no this yeah. was the first. That yeah. must have been exciting and a little weird. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun, um, and and yeah, it was just really really twisted and the piano parts were fun too because we had to basically learn how to play fake piano really? like we've been playing for years What's yeah the secret of that um we worked with choreographers and basically did like hand choreography 
It, it's it's really hard. For the record, yeah. that's the, at a certain point, you go, I think I can play. Well, like, and then, but then you turn like, the keyboard on and you say, you hear like how bad it actually it's sounds. It's terrible. Yeah. yeah. And then they like nudge the the yeah. piano bench down like an inch. <laughs> and you're like, oh, there it is. Yeah. 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 Well, no, it's just funny because you say hand choreography, and I feel like. 90% of playing the piano is hand choreography. Yeah, <laughs> just hitting the actual hands. notes. Yeah. yeah, that's the part yeah. that's, yeah, you really got to master yeah. that. Was it ever, um, you know, you hear all the time how the scarier a film, like the the lighter and more fun they had to make it on set just to get through. What was the vibe like making a film like that, making a psychological scary bump? I, I mean, it was it was definitely light at times. It was pretty dark, yeah. though. I feel like it got pretty heavy. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was a pretty quick shoot, so that was, I feel like when there's so much in one day, it's kind of like, it just gets yeah. heavy. And, and we were shooting in Long Beach, so there was like long drives. It was pretty, it was oh, pretty wow. dark, pretty dark experience. Was it hard to not bring that home, like at the end of the day? Like you have a long, scary day, and now you gotta go back and I'm pretty good at turning it off. Yeah? Yeah, I feel like I've yeah. learned that over the couple of years I've been doing it, because, yeah. You know, it's so funny. We talk about, like, you got a trillion things going on, but uh, everybody's like, oh, so I guess you never sleep. But sometimes you can make a thing, like, a year ago, and it won't come out for what. Were all yeah. these things happening at once? Was it spaced out? What was it like uh, having so many irons in the fire? I, the past two years have been a lot. And I'm, like, I'm a workaholic. I just yeah. like to keep working. So, yeah, I mean, and, but... And then sometimes it does happen where literally everything comes out at once. And you have no control over it. It just kind of happens. Um, but the past two years have been kind of nonstop. In a way, it's kind of nice because now you do like one crazy press tour instead of like five. Yeah, so exactly. You just do it all in once. Hey, everybody, here's yeah. all my stuff. And then you go home for Christmas for two weeks. Hey, who's yeah. got it better? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. All right. Here's what I do know. Uh, this film is coming out like right now. It's this weekend. Literally Jibanji, like the next level. Yeah. Ish. It's like happening. People yeah. got tickets. They're going to mm -hmm. see it. It's going to happen. Uh, I'm very excited for, for you, for everyone to see this. Uh, and for what I hope, this is a third one. Yeah. There's got to be, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Have they said anything sure. yet? Are they no, mumbling they already? No, they haven't said anything. No, there, there'll be more rumors until we yeah. actually know for sure. The Rock's in your movie. You're probably getting a third one. Yeah. yeah. And you got the horse. Yeah, the horse. The horse this is a can't lose combo. The horse is next to the Rock. I know. I mean, the people marketing the film know what they're doing. Yes. That's all I'm saying. They do. That horse got top billing, didn't he? Or she. I don't know. I can't tell. How do you know if a horse... You know, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't um, matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> You're awesome. All right, so we got Jumanji. That's this weekend. Uh, keep an eye out for Clouds probably next year. Yes. Uh, keep an eye out for Nocturne. Do you know when probably that's happening? Sometime next year. Next no, year? no, we don't know yet. Seven Fishes is out right now. Yeah. Perfect movie yeah. to watch. L perfect for the holidays. Perfect time Especially if you that. do Feast of Seven Fishes. Yeah, even if you don't do the Feast of Seven Fishes, it's still a great movie. Yeah. It's really fun uh, and a great movie. Um, You're great. Before we wrap things up, I want to make sure we got time. We got some audience questions. Kate, I got at least three. Beautiful. Thank you. You've got microphones. Let's go. First one. How does this compare? How does Jumanji? the next level compare to like the first Jumanji and other productions that you've done? Um, I mean, I think, do you mean the, the sequel or just bo all of both of them together? All the productions like you've done like Jumanji yeah. and the Seven Fishes or whatever and this one. I think with this, it was just, I mean, not a, the cast first of all, because it was such a huge, huge cast. I've never been a part of right, a cast like that. Yeah, I mean, there's just so many amazing people. Um, and just, you know, it was awesome to be able to touch something that was a part of everyone's childhood with the original Robin Williams Jumanji. And I think that was really cool and made it super extra special. Yeah. I know, because uh, I'm much older, it, it was like actually my first like field trip that we left the school without a bus. We walked to the theater to watch Jumanji. I guess we read the book. I don't remember that part. The point is, <laughs> I grew up with it. I know you're a little bit younger. You didn't necessarily grow up with it. It came out before your time. Yeah. But was it a movie that you watched on rainy days at school? Did you see it when you were young? I actually hadn't seen you it. Hadn't seen I think it. I might have when I was really young yeah. and, and didn't realize it. And But it was cool though because I got the audition for it and then I went back and watched it. Oh, so I had like a newer appreciation for it. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean it's a great movie. Yeah. Yeah. Still great. To this day, Robin Williams. Can't go wrong. Um, okay, we've got a couple more. I think next one's right here. Hi. Hi, Madison. Uh, I love your work. <gasps> Thank fan. you. Um, I was wondering if there's any like actor or director you'd like love to work with now oh, since gosh. you've worked with some big stars now. Um, I am like the biggest Reese Witherspoon fan. Yeah, I would love to work with her one day. Yeah. Just as like a human being, actor, everything, woman, yeah. I think she's just phenomenal. Yeah. She's yeah. For sure. Yeah. Amazing. That would be awesome. Yeah. Thank you for that question. Okay, can I do one more? I want to do one more. Perfect. Let's go. Right here. All right. So I already saw the movie and smell what the rock is cooking. So <laughs> I just wanna just wanted to ask, like, uh, I see when you enter the game, uh, your character change. First the horse, then it was like the Jack Black. Mm -hmm. So if you had the chance, like, I mean, uh, chance to like again, like, 
you know, change the characters, uh, who would it be? Would it be the Rock or Kevin Hart? Ooh. Do I want to be the super cool dude or the backpack guy? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to backpack guy. Backpack guy. Um, I feel like I'd want to be Kevin Hart. I think the Rock's uh, he, Dr. Bravestone's a little too much pressure. I don't know if I could live up to, <laughs> to those standards. I feel like two, and I because I, I know both of them watch the show, so don't take it the wrong way. But I feel like The Rock, who I do idolize, I, that's mm -hmm. my white whale. One day I want to get The Rock in yeah. here. I'm going to talk to him. But I do. I I have to believe if I were to, if you were to suddenly become him, a lot of maintenance. Right? Yeah. It doesn't just happen. This man's eat you want to talk about eating a lot of fish. Oh, so much a hard There's worker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like it's nonstop work. Yeah. Kevin Hart puts in a lot of work. He's working yeah. hard as well. Yeah. But I just I don't know if he's getting up at six AM and eating all the fish at the rock is eating. Yes, exactly. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's all though I'm saying. I think saying. they both are like huge gym addicts though. Between he's got the like both his own of run them. club or something. Yeah, yeah, they all do crazy fitness, fitness stuff. Yeah. That's more my speed, the run club. Yeah. I think. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you for your question, <laughs> man. Uh, I had so much fun hanging out with you. Yeah, Thank it was you fun. so much. Thanks uh, for having for coming me. By. Of course, anytime. Uh, for the next million things you do, you got to come back and tell us all about them. Cool. Uh, in the meantime, I'll remind the world if you haven't already, get some tickets to go see Jumanji. Uh, yes. Keep an eye out for clouds, keep an eye out for nocturne, and then celebrate the holiday the right way. Watch the Feast of the Seven Fishes. Uh, thank you so much again for being a great audience and hanging yeah, out with you us. Guys. Make some noise yeah. with a great Madison Eisman right Thanks, here. Thanks, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, guys.